Here we're going to be looking at a partnership allocation of profit deficiencies and losses. And what I mean by that is the partnership is going to have a loss for the period and it has to be allocated amongst the partners here. So the method we're going to be looking at here is a profit allocation method here. And the, this is where the deficiency is allocated in the profit and loss ratio for the partnership. And using this method, you have to satisfy all the provisions of the profit and loss agreement and use the profit and loss ratio to absorb any of the deficiencies. And what we're going to be looking at here is we're going to have partner A, partner B, partner C, and we're going to have uh, an allocation here for the interest in, ex in excess of the capital. And we're going to have some bonuses here and some salaries, and then we're going to uh, have a deficiency here based on those allocations here. And then we're going to have to allocate that loss or that deficiency here. So first thing we have to do in this case is we have to allocate this interest here based on the capital investment. So in this case, there was a, it was decided that the uh, partnership would have a 6% interest rate on the ending capital balance in excess of $200,000 that the partner has invested here for their cash and their assets. So going over here, uh, looking at our calculations, um, our ending capital balance for each of the partners here is A, 160000 B, 300000 C, $220,000. So uh, they have to exceed more than $200,000 here to receive any interest. So A didn't exceed it. They get zero here. Partner B had 300000 less 200000 So they have 100000 excess here times 6% gives them $6,000. And C has 220000 here in, cap, in their capital balance less 200000 gives them a $20,000 excess times 6%. So they get $1,200 or $1,200 here. So uh, we would allocate our interest on the excess of capital. Uh, partner B would get $6,000. Uh, partner C gets $1,200. Now, in, for this um, example here, the bonus here is only allocated to partner C here. That was what the, it was agreed on here. So let's go up and look at our bonus calculation. So we had a 10% bonus here and it's only it's going to be the net income less the bonus here. So uh, doing our calculations here, we had a net income in this case of $44,000 and then we would be subtracting the bonus and that quantity here would be times 10%. So using our arithmetic here, we just move this bonus over to this side of the equation. So we got a 10% bonus here plus the regular bonus here or the bonus on this side of the equation was 100%. That equals 100%. So we have 110% of a bonus equals in this case 10% times 44,000 or 4,400. So doing our arithmetic here, $4,400 divided by 110% gives us a $4,000 bonus. And that only goes to partner C here. So we've allocated our bonus here for, four, in this case, it was for $4,000. And then our salaries would go to partner A and partner C here. That was agreed on. And partner A was going to get $26,000. Partner C would get $24,000. So we have a total salaries here of $50,000 that were allocated. So taking our interest, excess of interest here of $7,200, the bonus of $4,000, $50,000 here for the salaries, we get a total amount here of $61,200 that was allocated here for the uh, for our total amount here for our, our interest, bonus, and salary. So our income here was was al we're only $44,000 for the year. So we over allocated our um, interest, bonus, and salaries here by the amount here, 44000 minus 61200 That was $17,200. So that is a deficiency. We over allocated it here by $17,200. So what we have to do is we have to divide up that deficiency amongst our partners A, B, and C here. So what we do here is we go down and we're going to allocate that based on this allocation ratio here. Uh, or and That's what we were looking at here. This this is the method that we're using here. The deficiency allocation was based on, in this case, we have a two, a two the ratio here is two to one to one. Partner A was going to get uh, two parts here, and each of the other partners are going to get one part here. And that was the ratio here, A, B to C. So just doing our arithmetic here, two plus one plus one, we get four. Uh, 
parts here and then the deficiency here was seventeen thousand two hundred dollars so I've taken the deficiency of seventeen thousand divided it by four here and we come up with forty three hundred dollars for each of the parts here so partner A was going to get two of those parts here for two times that for eighty six hundred partner B would get one part here for forty three hundred partner C another part for 4300 so we allocated this deficiency of seventeen thousand two hundred dollars and what we do here is this deficiency we have to subtract it from the total allocation that we had up here so for partner a we subtracted the eighty six hundred here and the income allocation would be seventeen thousand four hundred dollars for partner a and for partner b subtracting out their deficiency allocation here they would come up with a net amount here of 1700 that would be allocated for their income for the year here and then partner C subtracting 4300 here from the, their total here of 29,200 gives them 24,900 that they would be allocated for the year here so uh, we've s had our total partnership income here of $44,000 was allocated here between partner A partner B and partner C here and that was based on this deficiency allocation method here where we use the ratio method here for A B and C and we had to subtract that uh, over, allocate, over allocated amount or our deficiency amount here from each of the partners uh, totals here that they had allocated to them so this is what we would be talking about here when we have a deficiency allocation based on the profit and loss ratio Okay, let's look at our second alternative here, and it's going to be the loss allocation method here, and it's going to be based on the deficiency allocated to the profit and loss ratio. Just as we did for the profit allocation here, we're going to use the loss allocation method, and we'll look at the difference here. And using this method here, you have to satisfy each provision of the profit and loss agreement to whatever extent possible, except for any separate provisions here. And for example here, our agreement was to allocate the full interest and salaries, even though we had a net loss for the period of $4,800 and then the agreement was that there would be no bonuses applied in this case when there's this net loss here so going down to our schedule here partner A B and C we'd have the same calculations here for the interest in excess of the capital that were balance here of $6,1200 $1,200 here for total amount here of $7,200 and we wouldn't have any bonus allocated here but we'd have the same salaries here for example partner A gets $26,000 B zero partner C $24,000 so we have a total amount here allocated $7,200 for the interest in excess of capital plus the salaries here of $50,000 so our total amount here would be $57,200 that was allocated and in this method here we have to look at uh, do some reverse arithmetic here so our loss for the period was forty eight hundred dollars so we have to determine the deficiency that we have to allocate here and in this case we'd actually be def uh, you'd hate we can use the arithmetic here fifty seven two thousand two hundred minus sixty two thousand dollars here well how did we get that well what we would do here is we'd just be adding the forty eight hundred to the fifty seven thousand two hundred and that would determine that we have a sixty two thousand dollars here of deficiency so this is what we have to allocate here the sixty two thousand dollars in deficiency and we would do that using the same ratios that we had in our previous example here it would be two to one to one uh, ratio to A, B, and C here. So uh, adding up our parts again here, we have four parts here, and the total deficiency that we have to allocate is the $62,000 here. So we take the 62000 here, divide it into four parts, that gives us $15,500 worth per part here. So um, partner A would get two parts here for twice that amount for 31000 Partner B gets 15500 one part. Part, partner C gets 15500 for the next part here. So to calculate the loss that we'd allocate to each partner here, all we do is take the uh, subtotal amount here, in this case for partner A, $26,000, less the deficiency that they were allocated here of 31000 gives them a loss allocation for the period of $5,000. And then partner B, go through the same arithmetic. The subtotal is 6000 less the 15500 loss that was allocated for the period 
gives them a loss here of $9,500. And then partner C, they had $25,200 allocated, less the deficiency amount of $15,500, gives them a, actually a profit here of $9,700 that they'd get allocated. So our loss allocation, you need to just add those up, and that would equal a $4,800 loss here for the period here. So that's how we would use this loss allocation method here. We'd have to calculate this total amount, total deficiency based on the uh, allocated amount here uh, and the loss for the period here. And then we would allocate that based on the uh, ratio here that would be a, decided by the partnership here for the deficiency that would have to be allocated.